Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family, y'all. Let's see what messages we have for you. Um, liking, subscribing, and commenting enters you to win a mini reading. And thank you guys for your uh, patience in me getting the personal readings out for you. Um, I will be reposting openings as I get them. We have I decided to stay with the karmic for now. <laughs> Tell me more. We have the acarbic is abusing me mentally. Lord. Here we go. I'm in love with you and the karmic knows. And then we have, let's go ahead and pull this one on out. It says, this is more than just lust. <sighs> well. So this person feels like they are being mentally abused by whoever it is that they are with. Okay. What that looks like is being talked down to, being disempowered, being discouraged, being unappreciated. But I'm going to keep it real with y'all, okay? Especially if this person is living with somebody else or if this, some, if this someone is married to somebody else. I don't care what no one says. You don't see that real person until you living with them, okay? And even then, some people are good at having double lives. Because I feel like even though it says the karmic is abusing me mentally, I feel like it's going both ways here. That's what I'm seeing. Because, yes, there are some karmics and a lot of them that are batshit crazy. We already know this. But there are also third parties that are taking care of the kids, taking care of the home, um, working at the same time. Or for some of you, you know, not working, taking care of the family, whatever. For others of you, you know, that third party very well could be the one that is working. That is the one, you know, picking up on the bills um, when this person loses a job. Okay? Because for some of you, someone here could even struggle to keep a job. Okay? For some of you, that third party has been the one that has been bailing them out or putting money on their books if they've been in prison. Or the one constantly insecure because they're being gaslit by this person thinking they're the only one when in reality, this person here is the third party's doing everything they can to try to make this person happy. And this person right in front of their face could be sitting on the couch or sitting on the bed and texting y'all talking about how horrible the third party is. That message is for somebody. Because people really like to play the victim. They really do. And they will blame whoever the hell it is that they are with as opposed to taking accountability themselves. And of course, people can say there's all different type of reasons of why people stay in connections when they shouldn't. But for a lot of you, I feel like this person here has been the one that has been emotionally and psychologically manipulating this third party too. And that's just what I'm getting. And then not to mention the fact that, you know, dealing with somebody that's already in another connection. For some of you, you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want to. They want a yes person, someone that just agrees to whatever it is that they say. They don't want somebody that is speaking, um, speaking to them on things that they need to work on. So for some of you, the th I'm just giving, I'm, I'm reading energy and I'm giving y'all an inside look. So for some of y'all, this third party could be bringing different things that are reasonable to this person's attention. And this person gaslights them and then tries to emotionally cheat or physically cheat with you. And that's a no. 
because sometimes people are like oh I wish this person wasn't married oh I wish this person was single really no the fuck you don't but not based on this energy for some of you because guess what if they're doing this to that third party that they're living with or that they're married to or that has seen them go through all different types of things that maybe you don't even know about what's to say that when you're with this person they're not going to be emotionally cheating and physically or physically cheating on you So I'm just giving some perspective here. Okay, and then we have blackmail here. So yeah, maybe the third party does have something on this person. You're right, maybe they do. But at the same time, when a person really wants to get out of a situation, they're not going to be sitting around making a bunch of excuses of why they're staying in it. They're not. They're not. It, don't, it does not matter how much money. It doesn't matter how many kids, baby. They will, they will be ghost. But for a lot of you, this person knows how they really are. And they know that this third party knows how they really are. So that's why they're giving that third party grace and staying with that third party. Because it's easy for people to put on illusions for other people. But those of you that have been married or that have lived with people, you already know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay? It's a whole different ball game. <laughs> when you up in that thing, right? Like, we gonna keep it real around here. Might not be what everybody wants to hear, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you have somebody over here thinking about kissing y'all while they with the third party we have I love you <laughs> wow heavy on the love so if they love y'all this much and some of you guys have already moved moved on from this situation for whatever reason it's still in your energy I'm just giving you the tea okay but if they loved you so much they would be showing that in their actions by making a strategic plan to get up out of that situation that they're in. Yeah, sorry if I made you feel unwanted. <laughs> wow. Let's keep going. And we have, I walked away from the karmic already and it's in reverse. <laughs> wow. And my karmic is making my life a living hell. For some of you, they both making each other's life a living hell. I'm gonna keep it real with you because some of you are dealing with a wounded masculine or a wounded feminine. And they're deciding to stay in that situation. And there's many different reasons why, right? But for some of you, I'm going to say this. There's different things this third party will put up with that you're not going to put up with. For a lot of you, this third party will put up with this person cheating. Why? Because for some of you, the third party could be cheating too. They don't care who this person is lying down next with and uh, getting, getting exposed to different things with because they're out there doing that too. Now, for other you, others of you, that's not the case. Maybe they do have a third party that has been devoted to them. Take it as it resonates. But what I'm saying here is, is just a whole lot of excuses for why somebody is staying in a toxic connection and not choosing to ascend. For some of you, the karmic could be codependent. For others of you, this person could be codependent, either emotionally or financially. And yes, somebody could be making threats. 
But for some of you, this third party has threatened, in fact, to leave this person. And this person has been the one uh, blackmailing them or trying to uh, find reasons to stay with them. Why? Because they want their cake and they want to eat it too. Well, that's not for everybody, but that's for some of you here. Because some of you were definitely dealing with somebody that had some straight narcissistic tendencies. They feel entitled to being able to have multiple lovers if necessary or if they want to at the moment but they very well could get upset when this third party is out there hooking up with other different people so make it make sense so somebody definitely loves y'all the third party knows that they love you I don't know why the third party is staying with this person either there's some form of codependency Maybe they have a lot of shared assets and maybe it's it's a it's a situation where it's an open connection and they can just both do their thing and then come back together. It sounds unhealthy to me. But, you know, when somebody is sweet talking you and telling you all types of different things like, oh, you know, oh, I, th you know, this person that I'm with and, you know, they're just, they're doing this and they're always this and they're always that. You got to, oh, they're crazy. They're this and that. You have to ask yourself, okay, so what is it that you were doing to contribute to it? Because for some of you, they could have driven this third party crazy. For some of you, you were dealing with somebody that was mentally abusive and emotionally abusive. And this person knows how to charm the hell out of people and put on a really good act. So that's my little spiel on that. You know, we're going to keep it real around here on every Aries and Aquarian placement within my body. Because somebody plays entirely too much. And they wanted you to be on that roller coaster with them. And that's a no. I appreciate it when people can say, you know what? I did fuck up. I did A, B, C, D, and E. I shouldn't have did that. And the person that I've been dealing with, yeah, they get on my nerves, but in reality, they've been the one that's been holding it down for me. In reality, they've been the one that's, you know, making sure the kids are taken care of while I've been out there, you know, doing my thing. Because some of you, somebody was acting single as hell while they had a whole situation in, in the household. We have signs and synchronicities. We have magnetic attraction, alluring, lust, irresistible flirting. We have heartbreak. <laughs> Player, charming, manipulative, karmic, being tested. And then we have single. So I feel like what this is saying here is, you know what? Yes, somebody definitely was dealing with somebody that wanted their cake and to eat it too, or that was playing games or that was hot and cold or didn't know what they wanted, or they were in another situation acting single, or they could have just, you know, been single and had several different situationships, whatever the situation is, Somebody is heartbroken up with um, heartbroken up in the mix. Somebody definitely feels drawn to you. But I feel like somebody here could have a problem with lust and they could feel drawn to quite a few different people depending on their setting here. So somebody here needs to have some type of self-control. That's what I'm seeing. So yeah, I feel like Someone just really needs to come to grasp with who it is that they're dealing with. That's what I'm saying. Because, um, yeah, this entire energy right here is, um, is, is because somebody was putting a lot of smoke and mirrors. And the sad thing is, is because a lot of times, you know, some people won't tell you that they're married or in a relationship when they meet you. You end up finding that out after the fact. 
or sometimes you can be in a relationship with people and the whole time they're out there acting single right or for some of you they're messing around with somebody else that's in a whole nother relationship themselves Now, I feel like the mistake that was made here was somebody thinking that they were going to play in y'all's energy. That's what I'm seeing. Because anytime somebody is, you know, stringing you along and one minute they over here with, back with the third party and the next minute they're dealing with you and back and forth and back and forth, all they're doing is energy harvesting off of you. Taking your divine energy, okay, and using it to go build with a karmic third party. Taking your love, your emotional support, okay, your care, your intimacy, and channeling it into another situation. So they can't be mad when chaos and confusion and calamity starts to happen around them. And no, it's not you trying to send anything bad towards them because we don't do that around here, right? We're divine beings. We, we we don't send the negative spell work and paying people to do weird shit to people just because, you know, they hurt us and all that. We don't do that. I tell you what we will do, though. We will talk to God. And God, in fact, will avenge us, right? That's what we do. Because it says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. So whatever somebody is going through, it is repercussions for their own behavior. Because somebody was lacking empathy. They really thought that because they were attractive, they were alluring, okay? They could get the best of both, both worlds or multiple worlds here. They weren't thinking about whose heart they were breaking in the meantime. They were selfish and only thinking about themselves, So that's what they have to deal with. And that's why the first card here is signs and, and synchronicities, because I feel like the divine has been trying to get through to somebody, okay, for them to make better decisions. And they haven't been doing that. And then if they want to stay in some type of situation where they're miserable and, and they're going back and forth, uh, playing games with the third party or third party playing games with them that's on them right I feel like with that single card whether you some of you guys could be in another situation here and this is just giving you the tea on something else or for others of you you could be single it's just letting you know that hey you know what you made the right choice because some of you guys were dealing with somebody that couldn't eat, didn't want to be single. They always had to have multiple people they were talking to because they're codependent. Okay? So I feel like what I'm seeing here is you guys being blessed with the Ace of Pentacles here. This is an offer. Whether this is a new job, a lump sum of money, okay, new career, new lover, whatever this is here. It's something that with the three of wands, you have been manifesting in. Okay, you see that ship? It's about to come in for you. That's what's coming for you here. Because somebody took you guys through it. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody could have got had you guys confused. For some of you, this person could have even had you um, feeling like, what was it that you did wrong? Okay, for them to not leave whoever they were dealing with or for them to go towards somebody else or for them to, um, you know, disrespect you or treat you, you know, like you were nothing. No, you you are priceless here. Y'all are celebrity diamond star seed energy. So anybody that wants to treat you that way, guess what? They're being met by God's angels on your behalf. Why? Because you guys are a gift. Normally on this on this card here in other decks, you'll see um, the divine's hand coming out of a cloud with a pinnacle. That shows how precious and rare you guys are. You know, it really does say that the divine knew you before you were in your mother's womb and while you were in your mother's womb, right? And that every hair on your head is counted. That's how priceless you are. 
So how dare somebody in some type of wounded, distorted, masculine or feminine energy try to make you feel like you don't deserve to be treated the way that you deserve to be treated, which is with respect. We have the Hierophant here. Somebody is learning a, a powerful lesson. Because for some of you, this person could have even tried to gaslight you into saying that you had no right to feel hurt with them. For some of you cheating behind your back or, you know, going against you in whatever type of way they were or slandering your name and saying things that were untrue about you. They wanted to act like you had no right to be upset. Guess what? The angels find this person to be guilty. Yes, you did have a right to be hurt and to be upset. But also to transmute that energy, that negativity, into positivity for yourself, which is exactly what you guys are doing here. Yep. And then we got the Eight of Swords over here. So while you're over here uh, building, okay, a lot of you guys um, branching out, doing something different, right? You're receiving this gift. You have somebody over here that's overthinking when it comes to you. What are they overthinking about? The fact that they had a gift from God, they had wish fulfillment, and they treated it like it was not of value. Keep going. Let's see, what else? We got the six of swords that came as a cross here. Somebody is overthinking on whether or not they can get y'all to bring that ass, bring that ass, bring that ass back. Or whether they're going to bring it on back to you. But if we go back from the six of swords, we go to the five of swords, which is a lot of mind games, a lot of manipulation here, a lot of gaslighting. A lot of somebody letting others get into their minds or get in between their connection with you so that they miss out on their blessing. You were somebody's blessing here. And then they, tr and then whatever they did to treat you the way that they did, it ended up becoming a harsh lesson, right? Not just for that person, but I'm sure for you guys too. What is this? Damn, we got the tower here. We got the tower. I'm trying to tell you, God don't like ugly. That's why it says man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. I feel like somebody was too caught up in outward appearances, right? Not just looks, but also status, also money, also this, also that. All those shallow things that you can't take with you when you pass away. Okay? So now there's a tower moment here that somebody is going through. Tell me more, please, for the collective. We have the four of wands. Some of you guys could be saving money for a new home or purchasing a new home here. Some of you guys could even be working from home. What else? Wow. What else? The ten of cups reverse. Somebody could have been overthinking in regards to family members or because maybe they didn't want to have to detach from a family situation they already had that already looks like it's it's not a wish fulfillment, that it's unhappy, that it's miserable there. Tell me more. Yeah, we got the star card. Somebody wants to come back around to their star energy. Now, the star card can be read many different ways, right? There are those that are in the star energy that, um, that have their morals, that have their ethics, right? Um, they also have a lot of recognition. They also are strong in their faith. And then there are the other type of stars where they'll do anything, sleep with whoever, mess whoever over to get ahead, just to get popularity. There's different star energies. But this is a genuine star energy. And this is what somebody wants to come ar back around to. They want to heal something here. 
But with the Seven of Wands here, for some of you, there could be blocks in communication here or your spiritual team is still upset with how this person was trying to play y'all. So take it as it resonates here. Tell me more. Yeah, we have the Page of Swords here. Somebody could be watching you going through a tower moment here or somebody finds something out that's a tower moment. Okay? Maybe somebody is shifting. Maybe someone's moving. Maybe someone's relocating. Maybe someone's traveling here. I feel like somebody is watching you guys be strong and be resilient. And I feel like with this energy, a lot of you guys, there's a lot of healing that you're doing. Yeah. A lot of healing with the temperance card. Earth angel energy. You guys are moving forward here with victory and success. And I feel like you guys are speaking your truth here. And whoever was cold and detached and um, heartless towards you, you know, they're going through some type of ego death or some type of endings within their life or some type of transformation here. Yeah, and with the Eight of Wands here and the Page of Pentacles, it's like somebody very well could want to com communicate. There could be communication coming in. With the five of wands and the six of wands here. I feel like you guys are, you guys don't want any drama, right? You want peace here. You're focused on success here. You already know that somebody likes to have attention from multiple people. Okay. I feel like you guys are calling in a committed relationship or somebody at least that's going to be honest with you, right? That's what I'm seeing here. So put me some hearts down below. Put me some money bags down below. Love you guys. Namaste.